This is the largest freshwater invertebrate on the planet. The giant Tasmanian freshwater lobster is only found in the northeast and the northwest of Tassie. And that's it. It's just a small coastal strip extending along both areas that run into Bass Strait that they're found. So even in Tasmania, they're only found in probably 15% of the state. If you protect lobsters, you're protecting the whole creek and then the riparian zone for 30, 40, 50 metres either side of the creek, the whole thing comes into play. I grew up catching lobsters as a young Tasmanian boy. I uh, went and worked the mainland for 15 years in aquaculture. I've got the background to understand how the ecological system works and just a general feel for the bush. It's madness for people to think, oh no, you want to stop everything. Well, no, you don't. You just want to have a decent bit of bush there, mate. You don't have to be a rabid greenie to say, well, I think I'd like to see this river in good condition in 100 years. At the moment, we're on, on the brink of making a choice. We can either keep clearing all these headwaters and basically having a heap of river systems in Tassie where lobsters are that are full of sediment. Or we can stop and have some river systems that are going to be sediment free and look like they're supposed to look before European settlement. Nowadays, we've got most of the lowland stuff done, so they're heading into the headwater systems, which is up in the hills a bit. The problem with that is, is, is that the sediment gets in the headwaters, it runs downstream, and it doesn't matter what you're doing downstream, if you're stuffing upstream, you're stuffing the whole river system. And that's what's happened. Sediment is by far and away the biggest killer of these animals. I'm not saying that they're not, shouldn't be listed as vulnerable, they should, they've been decimated. In a small creek on a hot day with no shade, the water hits 25, lobsters die. The canopy supplies, the food, the shelter and the shade. Everything comes from the bush. What I do nowadays is more just the tagging and researching of populations just to see how they're traveling. He'd weigh about 1.7 kilo, he's got scars all over his body from fighting. There's a nice scar there where he's had his antenna taken off. So he's been quite a, an active boy. For me, it's just walking through the man ferns to get to these beautiful rivers that are in the middle of nowhere with tannin stained water, clean rocky bottoms, big myrtles, big blackwoods, man ferns all over the place. There's a shade. You've got these fantastic animals living in them, the great part of the world. Why shouldn't we look after it? We can't lock up the world, but it's got to be balanced. If a headwater goes, that's it. You cannot put the whole thing back and make a river. And I would say three quarters of the river systems in the, in the north of the state have got sediment issues. And the ones that are left are you know, slowly dwindling. If we start you know, trashing those headwaters, there is no comeback from that. It'll just be another ditch. If that's what people want, that's fine. That's up to them. But if we don't make the choice now, we're gone. Those systems are stuffed. Hmm.